So guys with low self-esteem will lie to women because they think that they have to concede to women and excessively praise them. Never pointing out their faults to be liked. They just want to be liked because they have low self-esteem and they want you to like them. And they, you praise them excessively, never pointing out their faults in order to be liked. You probably have mommy issues. This is not the lie for me to get into that. I don't even want to, I don't even want to emphasize that right now. Anyway, these guys, these pandering guys, these super nice guys, they can even have a lot of followers on the internet. I've seen them. I know them. This woman is spot on. That's what a beta male does, a simp, an incel, a MGTOW, a loser. That's what they do. They pander to women for hopes of getting with them in the bedroom. That's why they pander. So you're pandering to a woman so you can sleep with her, but women don't want you. They enjoy the nice things and the positive affirmations, but those are the same women that'll go after Pookie and Ray Ray and get with a thug or a drug dealer, but then listen to your woman empowerment speech and you're pandering to her while she's going off with Pookie and Ray Ray. Man, I what? <laughs> <laughs> Ray Ray What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Okay, they might have a lot of followers, but I want you to understand this. Just because someone has a lot of followers doesn't really mean shit at this point. Here's the, there is a man that's got a lot of followers online. Okay, you gotta click them, click the followers. And look, when you see the vast majority of a male figure's followers are women, it's because only women wanna hear what he has to say. That's why. It's not like there are men that are secretly co-signing it, like, yeah, in the back, but they don't follow the guy or they don't, they don't, they're not engaging with it. That's not, that's not it. They're not there because they don't care. Write that down. They're not, <laughs> they're not there because they don't care. They don't believe it. <laughs> and they're not going to spend their time trying to like on the stuff being like, we don't believe this guy. They're just not going to follow it. Okay. So if it's a, if it's a male figure, look at the followers. If it's only women, it's because only women want to hear it. And men know that that message is simply not true. See, so shout out to this sister who's telling the truth. Now, women that listen to this message would call her a pick me. See, it's funny that whenever a woman says it, she's a pick me. If a man says it, he's a misogynist or a woman basher or a woman hater. You can make a lot of money pandering to women. There are content creators that pander to women and they have thousands of followers, thousands of dollars thousands upon thousands of retweets and follows but at what cost are you willing to risk everything to pander to an audience that will turn their backs on you at the drop of a hat over here we don't pander to women and i'm glad it's a woman saying that because it's better to hear it from the horse's mouth. See, women prefer be told what they want to hear, but they don't like it in the long term because simps pander to women. If you pander to a woman, you are a simp. You are up here telling men what to do on a first date. You are a simp. People like to pander 
to a certain audience to get brownie points. See, simps always trying to get brownie points with women because they feel as if, okay, if I tell her what she wants to hear and make her feel good, I'm gonna get in her drawers or I'm gonna have a good night with her or I'm gonna get extra cool points. You're pandering to women. Only a simp will sacrifice everything just to pander to a woman for brownie points. And see, in the, in the man community over here, we don't like simps because that's a trait of a beta. That's what a beta male does, a simp, an incel, a MGTOW, a loser. That's what they do. They pander to women for hopes of getting with them in the bedroom. That's why they pander. Yep. So you're pandering to a woman so you can sleep with her, but women don't want you. They enjoy the nice things and the positive affirmations, but those are the same women that'll go after Pookie and Ray Ray and get with a thug or a drug dealer, but then listen to your woman empowerment speech and you're pandering to her while she's going off with Pookie and Ray Ray. See, that's the life you choose to live, dude. Stop simping. Stop pandering to women. Stop telling women what they want to hear and tell them what they need to hear. So what if they hate on you? So what if they call you a misogynist or red pill or manosphere or whatever they want to call you? The truth is the truth. Would you rather tell the truth and be hated for it? Or would you rather tell a lie and be loved for it? And a lot of you pandering simps that call yourselves content creators, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not going to name any names, but if you've been on YouTube long enough, you already know the types of people that I'm referring to. Content creators that just love to simp and pander to women. For what? For money? For likes? For retweets and follows? A piece of your dignity as a man dies every time a woman approves of your message. I would rather be hated for telling the truth than loved for telling a lie. It bothers me to see men as content creators cater to women. For what? These women are not going to get with you. They're not going to see you. They just like your video, agree with it, and move on. There is a lot of money in pandering to women. But you're doing a disservice to the black community. You're hurting the community. You're hurting manhood. You're hurting real men. Every time you pander to women, it makes uh, us, it makes it a little bit harder to reach the masses. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You're going to see me right after this at the end of the video. Be sure to click on the next video and that's where you're going to find me. And until the next video, peace.